Liverpool, one of Britain's first multi-faith migrant hubs, attracting Muslims from around the globe. It was here in 1856 that William Henry Quilliam was born and later, in 1888, formally announced his conversion to Islam, becoming arguably the first convert to Islam in Victorian Britain. A passionate supporter of the campaign against capital punishment during Victorian times, staunchly opposed to slavery, and an advocate for the rights of the working class. Abdullah Quilliam would go on to become one of the city's most notable solicitors right here on Church Street. In 1887, after a short trip to Morocco, Quilliam announced his conversion to Islam upon his return to Liverpool. He began delivering lectures on Islam and publishing journals and articles about the religion. Quilliam's propagation led to around 600 people in the UK embracing Islam, all of whom formed the Liverpool Muslim Institute. I read the translated Holy Quran and the book of heroes written by Carlyle and many other books. When I left Tangiers, I was obedient to Islam and surrendered to its power and confessed it was the true religion. Well, the first time I heard about it, that was 2002, and my stepfather told me the background of the family I knew the family was Quilliam. Then my stepfather passed some of the documents concerning um, my great-grandfather over to me. This is uh, a, a law book which was to belong to uh, Quilliam. Must have been from when he was practicing law. Most people will learn with surprise that there is a Muslim mission to the English people in existence in Liverpool and that about 20 persons annually embrace the creed of the Quran. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. As the numbers of Muslim converts in Victorian Liverpool increased, so too did the need for a space that would allow them to practice their faith freely. And so Britain's first mosque was born. With the support of the Ottoman Sultan and Prince of Afghanistan, Quilliam was able to obtain 8 to 13 Brougham Terrace to create the ultimate mosque complex, featuring a lecture hall, a school for boys and girls, a hostel for travellers, a prayer space, and later, an orphanage. His vision for this building was limitless. He wanted to create a complex that, like Islam, was for all people and for all time. Abdullah Quilliam was very essential in introducing Islam to Britain. In fact, you could say that without his efforts, um, Islam would not have been introduced to this country until much later in time. We tend to think of Islam coming to this country through migrants. Quilliam was an Englishman through and through, very proud of his heritage. For him, Islam was a faith. It wasn't an ethnicity, it was a path to God. He enables Muslims of this country to think about what it means to be Muslim and British. That, I think, is the most significant heritage he leaves to us. Quilliam, the Sheikh of British Isles, eventually left England after facing endless hostility and persecution. His cherished mosque fell into disrepair and was eventually abandoned. In 1908, the building was sold to the council, becoming the official births and deaths registry office of Liverpool. When we consider that Islamism is so mixed with the British Empire and the many millions of Muslim fellow subjects who live under the same rule, it is very extraordinary that so little should be generally known about this religion, its history, and that of its followers. Abdullah Quilliam bought this building in 1887. In 1889, he opened this section where I'm sitting in as the first mosque in England. We got the building in 2007, and by that time, the building had been vacant for seven years. It was vandalized. Lots of roof, sections of the roof were missing. The windows uh, were all gone. They're all Georgian sliding sash windows. And because being listed that we shouldn't be replacing windows, but repairing them and refurbishing them, that took us a long time to do. Since then, the Abdullah Quilliam Society, with the help of the global Muslim community, have been working tirelessly to restore this complex to its former glory. The other things that we're working on at the moment, the original fireplaces, we're trying to restore those. Some have been sort of preserved. You will see the original arches, the original crescents uh, designed by Quilliam and his architect. 
specifically for this mosque. Our next phase of work is to make this a visitor centre. This will become the very first ever British Muslim Victorian mosque where you will experience at first hand how Victorian Muslims lived and this is a very unique project of its kind in the Western world. This space is not just an integral part of Victorian history, but an integral part of Victorian Islam and the very fabric of British Muslim identity. Brothers and sisters, here in Liverpool, we are trying to recreate, restore Britain's first mosque. Abdullah William Culliam was one of the earliest converts to Islam, and he established this mosque more than 100 years ago. It's been dilapidated, left to ruins. We are on target to completing this project and restoring Britain's only Victorian Islamic experience. We have also the opportunity to buy the next door building. To complete the modern and the old Islamic experience, we need to raise more than two million pounds. Would you like to be one of those founding donors helping us to complete our project? Please donate generously using our website address below.